April 7th is observed as the World Health Day and this year's theme is Healthy Beginnings, Hopeful Futures. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Jyoti Mary Jos and today we are diving into this fascinating concept of developmental plasticity. How the environment during pregnancy can shape not only the child's future health but also the long-term health of whole human populations. We'll explore how the choices a mother makes from nutrition, exercise, stress, exposure to toxins, relationships, emotions, all these can affect the young one, the fetus in the womb and lead to changes which can impact the child's future health. And here we have to ask an important question. What happens when entire populations adopt these unhealthy practices, unhealthy lifestyles? Could we be reducing our resilience as a human species? Could this lead to the accumulation of maladaptive traits? Um, pregnancy is not just about growing a baby. It is about programming a future human being. And this isn't just poetic. It is grounded in scientific evidence. Though through a remarkable process known as developmental plasticity, the fetus is continuously adapting to cues coming from the mother's environment. What the mother eats, how much she is exercising, how well she is sleeping, uh, what is her emotional state, how much stress she is under, what are the toxins she is exposed to, all these are signals which are read by the developing fetus as instructions. They influence how the genes are expressed, which biological pathways are activated and ultimately how the child's body prepares for life outside the womb. These early adaptations can influence the baby's lifelong risk for chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, obesity, PCOD and even mental health conditions. So as doctors, especially as gynecologists, understanding this window of opportunity is very vital because it is a responsibility. We can, but because when we care for pregnant women, we are not just taking care of one ch child. We are uh, influencing the sh or shaping the health trajectory of whole populations. In evolutionary terms, phenotypic plasticity allows organisms to adjust their traits without changing their genes. But what if the mother's lifestyle gives the wrong signals to the baby? The high sugar, low activity lifestyle may signal to the fetus that food is always abundant, leading to fat storage and insulin resistance. Over generations, these harmful genes that were once rare can become maladaptive alleles, increasing the susceptibility to all these chronic diseases like obesity, diabetes and heart disease. And this is how population level health issues emerge when unhealthy lifestyles and environments become the norm. If society keeps on making poor lifestyle choices like bad diet, poor sleep, chronic stress and then over time what happens is these harmful alleles or traits might become more common because people still reproduce and pass them on. So what happens is unhealthy becomes the new normal and the body adapts to it epigenetically sometimes locking in these unfavorable traits. So what happens is Cryptic genetic variation may be lost. We'll see what this is. Cryptic genetic variation means hidden genetic traits or strengths that are not currently used but may become useful in certain situations or environments like when there is a famine or when there is a viral outbreak. But because certain genes are being constantly expressed due to the same lifestyle habits like high fat diets or sedentary habits, uh, chronic stress and so on, then other potentially beneficial genes are never expressed. Over time, these unexpressed or unused genes may get lost, just like a mus muscle gets wasted when we are not using it. So this results in a shrinkage of our evolutionary potential. Evolution relies on variation and selection. When unhealthy choices lead to a narrow genetic and epigenetic expression, it limits the range of responses future generations can have. So when new challenges arise like a COVID pandemic, toxin exposure or even climate change, our biology may be less prepared to adapt to those changes. We'll compare this to a school where there are different students with different uh, talents. Some are good at math, some are good at arts, some are good at sports and so on. 
But if the school teaches and rewards only video gaming, over time what happens? Talents like creativity, problem solving, physical fitness, all these fade away. The school produces only one kind of student who is less ready for real world changes. So what if the video game industry collapses? No one knows how to cope. Their adaptability is gone. That is what is happening to us biologically. We are training our genes in one direction due to poor lifestyle choices. And thus we are losing our innate flexibility to deal with real life challenges. As doctors, we should not only treat illness. We are influencing evolution every day. Every time we counsel a pregnant woman about healthy lifestyle habits like nutrition, exercise, stress, dealing with stress, emotions um, and healthy habits, we are impacting the expression of genes in her baby and possibly in future generations. And this is epigenetics in action. Let us take this responsibility seriously. Healthy beginnings truly lead to hopeful futures. Thank you.